Hi hey guys, it is January 2nd, 2017. I have to read my little note. Um, I received this word yesterday and part of it this morning. I'm going to go ahead and put this up. Please prayerfully discern this word and all words you hear. And if anyone has any scripture to add in the comments, um, please feel free to do so. And I will also add some scripture later today. Um, I'll go ahead and start this. Okay, it says, My daughter, write my words for those with ears to hear. My daughter, the time on the clock is speeding ahead. While the world wants a celebration of a new year, many like you wait for me to step in and disrupt the plans of the enemy. He is cunning, my loves, and releases many false prophecies through even some that seek and love me. Some want so bad to be caught up and removed from your world that they cannot tell what is real, and some have been misled. They hear from spirits other than my Holy Spirit. Do not come against my children that are misled, but lift them in prayer. My servants must realize that there is no way to be perfect when you are trying to figure out my methods and my timing. For you exist in your flesh. Love one another, pray for one another, and be for one another, my children. Be full of mercy and grace towards everyone you come in contact with. Do not forget, some that you have written off will now be turning their hearts towards their Savior. This is a time where deep attention needs to be given to loving one another. If someone teaches falsely, or if they intentionally mislead others, do I not have the power to shut them down? Do I not have the power to control their visibility? Do not underestimate me, my loves, and do not be afraid of those who are working for the enemy. If you are to come out against them, make sure you have the same zeal for sharing my grace and mercy with them. If 100% of your focus is on the enemy, there will be no room for you to share me. For my mercy and love are what wins souls, not accusations and arguments. And know the facts before you publicly persecute one another. For maybe a brother or sister needs prayer, not ridicule. The false teachers will eventually bury themselves. They will find their own destruction. Too many of my servants worry so much about discrediting others that they are missing me. They are appointed to be messengers for this time, but their pride gets in the way and they end up falling to their own pride and unwittingly doing the work of the enemy. So many of my saints and messengers are coming under attack by their own brethren. Be warned, my children, for if you are attacking in pride, my anointed, there will be a price to pay. Step back and pray, seeking my will, and fight against operating in your own prideful spirit, or worse, operating under the oppression of the enemy. Your pride will blind you to these things. Open your eyes, my children, and walk with a humble heart, serving only me, and not the pride of your flesh. Do not forget, my children, that my timing is mine and it is perfect. Walk in this and in the joy of my perfection, not in a disappointment of your failed expectations. I implore you to get to a point in our relationship that my timing makes no difference to you, that my methods make no difference to you, and that the only thing that you concern yourself with is our outcome. You must know to call upon my name and never fear. Be fully secure in me and fear will flee from you. Focus less on my timing and more on my heart. I assure you a closeness with me is far more rewarding than fishing for whens and whys and fighting with those that do not share your personal understandings. Seek my face. Seek me in my word. Always share my light 
and you will not fall into the traps of the enemy. When you feel your pride welling up, seek me and approach all relationships and situations with humble hearts, full of love and grace towards one another. I love you, my children. Yeshua HaMashiach.